What's up, everybody? I thought I'd get on here and talk about our song, Sounds Like a Voice, for a few minutes. Um, I was listening to it the other day and kind of realized that this song came out almost a year ago now, which is crazy because it feels like we just put it out. And um, back when it came out, Ian had done a sort of behind the song video which is really cool. You should go watch that on our YouTube channel if you haven't already. But he basically breaks down the lyrics, all the different meanings, um, all the, th the things that went into that song, you know, from our lives and from, you know, books that he's read. And it's really cool. So go check that out. But I thought, you know, song's almost a year old. So why don't I throw in my two cents? So here we go. Sounds like a voice. It was written, the music for the song was written um, in January of 2019, and we were right in the middle of recording our album, Sayings. I remember there was one day we came in and we just kind of like wanted to create. Um, we were kind of like worn down by the recording process a little bit, and we just wanted to like jam and make some music, and that's basically how we write all of our stuff we just get together and play and if something sounds cool we'll record it on our phones and save it you know for sometimes years later it'll end up on something but that day we jammed uh the main riff and the music for sounds like a voice and it just sort of happened and uh i remember thinking the song was like the music it sort of came out of a place of pain there was a lot going on in our lives at that point. And so, you know, you're, we were kind of playing out of this place of, you know, like, I don't know, distress, you know, trying to get our emotions out through our instruments, whatever you want to call that. And it sort of came out of that place, but it's funny whenever I listen to that song, like just the music, I feel like that, that riff, like the opening guitar part, is like really resolute sounding, which is funny because, you know, th the way we were feeling at the time was, I think anything but resolute. We wrote it then, you know, had a recording of it and, you know, rest of 2019 happened. We put out sayings, uh, played a few shows. And, uh, and then later that year we had, you know, decided to take a hiatus as a band and at the time, it felt like it was going to be a pretty permanent thing. And uh, we really didn't have any plans to do anything else musical, you know. Uh, we kind of considered it to be over, honestly. And somewhere along the line between there and where we are now, you know, we, we kind of came to the realization that, you know, like what, what we have you know, as a band and as brothers, um, it was just too important. And the music we make, we just felt like it was too important for us to not be making music together because we've, you know, we've done it our whole lives. And so in 2021, we had decided, uh, basically to get back together, to make music. And we were coming at it from this, you know, attitude of, you know, let's just, Let's just do this for fun. Uh, we had this awesome opportunity to record at um, Dive Bomb Studios. Andrew Stanton, um, he would like serve as our producer. And uh, we got to record there and we got to rec record at um, Lester Estelle's studio for the drums. And so we went down there with like okay, like, let's do one song, let's just do it, and let's have fun, because it was like, honestly, it was like a dream come true for us, because, you know, we've we've listened to Disciple our whole lives, and Lester Stell, you know, we were huge fans of Pillar, so we were, we were like, okay, like, let's go down there, we spent a week, and uh, we were like, what song should we do, like, if we could pick one song, what should it be, and, like, Sounds Like a Voice, that was the song. Uh, we listened to the demo and it was just like, like we both just felt it. We both just knew like this should be the song we do. So we went down there 
and like <laughs> basically lived the dream for that first week. It was amazing and recorded that song. Um, you did all the different parts for it. It was just crazy watching it all come together because um, it was just another level for us. You know, everything we had done before that was completely us. Um, and all of it was going into making this song, Sounds Like a Voice. And so <laughs> we went down there and like, there's so many different layers of guitar. And um, there's actually, there's a little bit of trivia. There is a baritone guitar on the chorus of that song. You can especially hear it at the end, but it's hitting like a, a really low A. And it just, <laughs> it just sounded so like, like thick, you know, it was just a wall of, of sound. So we, we had an absolute blast. You know, when we started hearing some of the mixes come back, it just, it floored us. Yeah, sounds like a voice it will always be a very special song to me because of that, because, you know, it was the first song we did at this professional level or whatever you want to call it. And it was the first time that we went to these studios and it was the first song that we did with, you know, our producer and, and, Everything about it is just like, it's just like we're starting all over again. You know, to me, that song takes on many meanings for me personally, but like one of them is that sounds like a voice saying love to the end. Like it felt like, okay, like a dammit is making sound again. You know, it sounds like a voice and, and it's like that song coming back, that swelling up to the chorus and like that's that's why it felt to me like this would be the perfect like comeback song for us you know for the people who had followed us before and to a lot of people this is like their first time ever hearing us so it's literally like a new beginning and like it's all wrapped up in this song and what it means lyrically and what it means to both of our lives like individually and as a band as brothers it's just like it's just there's so many things coming together at this one song and uh you know that that's why we chose it you know in the song at the bridge i start putting in that uh it's like a major third <laughs> i hope i'm saying that right that that kind of like flip this whole minor key song into a major We've come from this place of whatever, silence and, you know, pain or hard times or whatever, and we're like going somewhere new with it. And that's one of the things I really love about that song. It's hard to like, <laughs> it's hard for me to like formulate into words all the ways that this music makes me feel because <laughs> like, that's why I play guitar, you know, <laughs> if I don't know how to like say something or say how I feel about something, I just play something on there and like, it's that, like that, that's it. And so if you listen to, you know, the bridge of that song and the ending with the, that's how I feel about that. It's, it's, you know, triumphant, it's a return and that's what, you know, that, that's where I feel that song takes you. And hopefully you feel that um, that same hope that we felt when we were making it is that, you know, you know, everybody's been through stuff. Everybody's been through really difficult times in their life that has sometimes lasted years. But there is hope. There is an end to to suffering. And, you know, you just pray that that song you know, when you listen to that song, you get that same hope that we felt from it. So yeah, there's more to come. Um, I can't wait to share more of this music with you. And uh, yeah, go listen to Sounds Like a Voice. Share it. Um, we're blown away by the amount of people that are regularly listening to that song. And just to our music in general. Um, we see We see all you people listening on Spotify. And hopefully we'll see you all soon. 
when we get back to playing shows this fall. But, uh, yeah, there you go. It sounds like a voice saying love to the end. Yeah.